as a pool attendant, I would get hit on. But if I would have known that accepting this woman's invitation to go back to her hotel room would have led to a scandal involving the president of the largest Christian university in the world and the president of the United States, I would have walked away and just enjoyed my private life. The Falwells are the Southern Gatsby's. They're wealthy, powerful. With a Christian's communications empire. And they're sloppy. They have a public image, but behind the scenes, they're freaks. At the time, I didn't really know who they were. My brother was at the age of one of their sons. He started being friendly with the kids. They had no idea that their dad liked to record his wife. How did sex with me? <laughs> what is happening? Becky was in love with this kid. Jerry was looking at keeping his wife happy. They were bringing him into a world he couldn't imagine. Real estate, politics. He was on top of the world. I'm like, this is it. I have never heard of anybody buying some kid that they met at the pool for a half million dollar business. Like, what's going on? We have a very powerful endorsement coming. Jerry Falwell Jr. Trump didn't fit the model of the evangelical candidate. There was some sort of relationship between Falwell, the pool attendant, Trump, and Michael Cohen. He was paid to dig up dirt on people and control them with that dirt. I'm screwed. This is where it became dangerous. You don't know what lengths people are willing to go when they have so much to lose. If they wanted to make me disappear, they can do it. The Falwells are predators. Anytime you have sex and then makes religion, that's some nasty, nasty shit. It was an atomic scandal. Jerry Falwell writes, I was not involved. I know the truth about them, and the whole world is going to find out.